Build 157 of Assembly True Pro X3 was released at the beginning of July 2017 and there's a few enhancements you might be interested in. The first one I'm going to show you is the ability to create a audio click track. I did a previous tutorial on this but I'm going to show you how it works now. So as normal to turn on a click you would just click where it says click and hit play. And that's the click but you might want to render the click to an audio track so I'm going to show you how to do that you go to edit tempo create click track at the moment this is an empty project so the only option is to create an audio click track from project start until defined position so you can type in the length of the click track you want so I'm going to put in 90 I'll make that zero out as well. Click OK. And you can see now that the audio click track is rendered as a single audio file. In fact, it's sort of frozen, whereas before it was individual files. So it's just a single audio file. So it makes it easier to handle. And also the click track is by default positioned at the top of the project and named click. If you decide you want to just use the individual audio files, you can unfreeze the track and you have the individual clips there. I'll freeze that again. So that's the first option for creating a click track. The second option is to create a click track based on the range you draw. So I'm going to draw in a range, 36 bars, and I'm going back to edit, tempo, create click track and we enable apply only to selected range click OK so now we have the click track based on the range which I drew in so that's the second option so the third option for creating a audio click track is I'll go to the tempo create click track from start of project to last object so I have a project loaded here and I'm going to click OK and the audio click track is created based on the length of the project. So there you have it, there's three methods of creating audio click tracks. The first one, you can define the length of the click track. The second is you can define the length of the click track based on the range selection. And the third is you can create a audio click track from the start of the project to the last object of the project. So I hope you found that useful. All the best for now.